Hello fellow inmates, how has life been for you behind bars? I myself have been spending quite a bit of time behind bars this week test riding a new dash camera. Now, you already know that I do the Inov K2 front and rear camera and I install it. It's a fantastic product. I like it, I love it. I have got a bad thing to say about the Inov K2. It's great, great product. If you haven't got it on your bike yet, but then came along this company called Techologic and they, they contacted me asking me to review this dash cam. And I'm thinking, well, why would I want to bring on another dash cam on? But this dash cam's a little bit different. It's actually in the picture right now. Can you see it? This is the Techologic DC1 front and rear dash camera, which goes on your crash helmet. Now, at first I thought to myself, not for me, but I said to the, the company, do you know what, send me it, it'd be fantastic, I'll do a review for you, and here we are. Two days ago, I did an unboxing video, but yesterday I decided to scrap that video because yesterday I actually took the camera out on my crash helmet and I, I spent a day with it, and I've fallen in love with it. So my unboxing video does not do it justice. I'll show you some of the footage from the unboxing video, but I'll scrap the audio because it's not fair on the product because it's a, a really, really good product. So it's already unboxed. This is just the box. This is the camera. Now, I haven't weighed it, but I'm telling you right now, this thing weighs nothing which makes you think, oh, okay, this is quite cheap, isn't it? But it's that, I, I can't explain it. It's that high quality metal that they, they use, I think on iPhones and stuff. It's, it, it's, it's quite lightweight, but really, really high quality. So I, I, it's, it's very impressive as soon as you see it. Now that's not the reason why I love it. The reason that I love it, which you're gonna see on the, on the video coming up from me test riding this, is because it's out of the box, the color on this, you're gonna see the color difference between this and the dash cam on my bike. It's like it's been color graded. It, like the greens are greens, the blues are blues. It, it actually takes really, really good footage. It's also completely waterproof with an IP67 rating. It's very, very lightweight, which, I met, which I've already mentioned. So you'd hardly feel it on the side of your crash helmet. So I've already got this set up with the bracket on there at the, the right angle. And the reason that I've decided that I'm gonna be keeping this as a permanent camera is because I'm not always just riding my own bike, I'm riding other people's bikes. And I think it's quite handy to have this. I can see this on contestants and I'm a celebrity get me out of here as they're plowing their way through the swamp of alligators and snakes and stuff. Apparently it's very popular for skiers. It comes with loads of mounting brackets for equestrian, uh, horse riding, cycling, obviously, and obviously motorcycling as well. It comes with a remote control as well, so you can take photos and commit files to memory so you never lose it. That's pretty cool. So here's my helmet. And uh, as you can see, I have a GoPro on here for when I'm doing my, my normal vlogs. And all I've done is I've put, this is my intercom system, Scala Pack Talk. And this is the mount that I've used for the, the DC1. Now, all you do is you just click it in, just like if you're familiar with GoPros, you know exactly what this is like. Just click it in. So when it's actually on, like that needs just shaping slightly. So when it's actually on, that's how much it sticks out. Now, it doesn't have to stick out that much, it's just that I've got it set like that because the mount's slightly back around the back of the lid because I haven't got enough space because I've got so many different mounts that I've got around on this side here. I've got a Drift Ghost mount there. I've got another GoPro mount there, which I use for something else. So I've decided to put on the left side because I prefer to have my left hand free for operating things uh, for obvious reasons because the right hand's on the, on the brake and the accelerator. So I'm literally just gonna have this in the top drawer. So in my, in my workshop, I have a charging station at the back of my workshop, all set up. So that is just gonna sit in the drawer with an SD card in there so it's ready, fully charged, simple as that. So as and when I know I'm gonna be riding a courtesy bike or a customer's bike or another bike that hasn't got a dash cam on there, I'm just gonna pick that up have one of these on, I've only got a few helmets, but have a GoPro mount on all my helmets and just 
click it on and off we go. Enjoy the video. I decided to go for a nice long run and do a, a few comparison shots between the Inov K2 and the DC1 uh, dash cam so you can see the difference between the front view and the rear view. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe because there's more exciting stuff coming soon. And another thing, I've just set up a new playlist. You won't see it, well, depending when you watch this video, you're not gonna see this right now because I haven't put a video into the playlist. So I've created a new playlist called Time Behind Bars. This is where I'm just gonna be out riding my bike spending time behind bars. I spent quite a bit of money on specialist audio equipment, so I get all the sounds of the bike, but you're not gonna get any of the wind noise. And occasionally I might do a bit of talking, but really it's all about being time behind bars and uh, just riding on the open road. And I'll try and upload a video to that at least once a week or every two weeks, just so I've got some decent contents of different towns, cities, countryside, places that I visit. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy what's coming next. I'm about to go out on a bike trip and I'm going to try out this brand new Techologic DC1 dual lens camera. Take a look at this. Now I've already set it up. Can you see here you've got the mount here, very very GoPro style mount and this is the front of the camera here and this is the back of the camera and can you notice that slight kick down how it goes down that basically enables you to be looking uh well it gives you perfect view of the back but nice and lightweight really lightweight but very high quality very very high quality so um i'll show you in another video exactly the unboxing of this and how you set it all up and how you can control it on the app i've already done all that uh, so we're just going to go out for a ride and see what it's like so to turn it on i've already got the attachment on my crash helmet which i'm wearing right now and all you have to do is hold it down for three seconds and it, it'll like literally violently <laughs> violently vibrate in your hands so you'll know it's come on one two three and that's now vibrating okay and this is like initialization you've got a wi-fi thing there the green basically means it's on and the steady white flashing means it is now recording so this is now actually recording footage so i should be able to show this to you right now so you should be looking at that usb hub uh, uh, connected to the back of my my workshop and if i look at the rear camera you can now see me hey right so let's attach this to my helmet and i've got it attached to the left hand side of my helmet so i'm just going to click this in place okay let's put my gloves on and let's go for a little ride let's fire up because I've already got a, an Inov K2 dash cam installed on my bike. So if I, if I show you the front dash right now, so this is what you're getting quality wise out of the 1080p camera that's already on the bike at the front. Take a look at this. Right, now take a look at the, the rear footage that I've got on my bike, on the, of the K2. Okay, and uh, now let's take a, a look at the footage of the front camera on the new DC1 helmet dash cam. Okay, and now let's look at, at the footage of the, the rear footage of the, the DC1 helmet dash cam. So, obviously I don't know what that looks like right now because I'm riding the bike, so I can't actually comment. 
but um, now let's look at the footage that you're getting from the GoPro Hero 7 that's attached to my helmet as well so bearing in mind I've got the the camera on my helmet set to 4k at 24 frames per second there's a reason why I do it at 24 not 30 I won't get into that right now um, but uh, that's what that's at so and that's also stabilized whereas the dash cams are not stabilized however the you kind of got your own stabilization mechanism on the dash cam on the helmet which is uh, that thing called your neck so you're gonna find the actual stabilization from the DC one is gonna be pretty pretty good Bet better than what you're gonna get on the K2 and the only thing with the uh, DC one the downside to it I would say would be you've only got 2.5 hours of battery life now if you're only riding for, for less than that that's great because you can just plug it into a power bank or plug it into mains when you come you know when you've done your ride and uh, recharge your back up again or you can buy a power bank and I'll put a link in the description down below where you can buy that power bank from me and uh, and what you do is you put the power bank in the, one of your top pockets of your of your jacket let me just go down here you put that into the top pocket of your jacket and run a, a micro USB cable from your pocket up to what's going on there up to um, so you, you run a micro USB cable from your pocket where the power bank is up to the DC1 dash cam on your helmet so that's all good uh, only thing is the, da the DC1 dash cam it's got an IP6 IP67 rating which is fantastic it means this thing is durable in almost every every weather uh, uh, condition so snow rain you, you, you know throw what you want at it it's going to be a good camera that's as long as you've got the door closed on the side where you charge it so bear in mind if you are considering on buying this over a permanent fix on your a permanent dash cam on your bike bear in mind that it will not be waterproof if you are running a power bank to it whilst you're riding it's only waterproof if you are reliant only on the 2.5 hours of battery life that it'll have on a full charge. So let's take another look at it all then. So let's look at the K2 front dash. Now let's look at the DC1 front aspect view. And, uh, let's put them side by side let's put K2 on the left and DC1 on the right so that's the front the front view you're getting from the dash cam at the same time of the the K2 front and the DC1 front okay and so now let's look at the rear camera so K2 rear dash cam now DC1 rear dash cam now let's put them side by side K2 on the left and DC1 on the right rear view camera okay back to front GoPro camera got a nice muddy little lane down here
doing here is uh, I'm just going to take it off and check the audio because um, I've been having some a few audio not issues but just trying to get it just right so a, a pleasant listening experience for you but instead of me just turning off the dash cam I think this is a really cool feature actually because battery power battery is everything battery power is crucial and the whole idea with the dash cam is it just works so with the helmet cam obviously you have to turn it on with a dash cam that is fitted to your bike or in your car it, the whole idea with those is they're supposed to come on as soon as you put the turn the ignition on you're not supposed to think about it it just comes on but with the dc1 you are going to have to turn it on you're going to have to attach it to your helmet you're going to have to charge it and things like that so but the really good thing that i love about this dc1 <laughs> i think this is <laughs> It's probably one of the best things I like about it, actually, is that if you forget to turn it off, it will turn itself off. Which, <coughs> that sounds bad, doesn't it? But it's not, because it's not going to turn itself off as long as it's on my head and I am still living and breathing. Um, so <laughs> don't worry, it's not connected to my, my heart rate or my pulse or anything like that. It's just based on um, movement. So if I take my my lid off and I stick it on my on my wing mirror just here, um, that will uh, eventually turn off after three minutes of zero movement. Isn't that great? Right, so I'm going to take this off now. Oh. 